Here are your two minutes of pro football history presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. One of the shortest careers of any player who has earned a bronze bust in Canton belongs to halfback Doak Walker. Born in Dallas, Texas on New Year's Day, 1927, Walker was a big-time star at SMU. He was a three-time All-American and the 1948 Heisman Trophy winner. Despite that success, many pro scouts passed on Walker, claiming he was too small for pro ball. That was not a deterrent to the Detroit Lions, who obtained his rights and signed him to a contract in 1950. So Walker went to Motown, where he joined his lifelong friend and fellow future Hall of Famer, Bobby Lane. Walker erased all doubt during his rookie season in 1950 when he led the NFL in scoring with 128 points via five rushing TDs, six touchdown catches, eight field goals, and 38 extra points. He continued to contribute over his six seasons with Detroit as he helped lead the Lions to two NFL titles during that span. He scored the game-winning 67-yard TD run versus the Browns in the 52 championship. The next season, the Lions repeated as league champions when Walker scored 11 points, including the deciding extra point in a 17-16 win over Cleveland in that year's championship game. Walker's legacy, other than his winning ways, was his versatility and knack for exciting game-changing plays. He ran the ball, caught it, kicked, punted, returned punts and kickoffs, played as a defensive back, and even threw 28 times in his career. Doak, who passed away after a skiing accident in 1998, had shunned a lucrative contract from the Lions and hung up his cleats after the 55 season so he could pursue other business interests. While 67 games and six seasons didn't permit Walker to amass huge numbers, his contribution to the game cannot be forgotten. It wasn't when in 1986 he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame 30 years after he walked away from the game in his prime. And there are your two minutes of pro football history presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame.